Hello and welcome back to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite shows of all time. Yes, I'm talking about MASH, and I want to talk about Frank and Margaret. Now, I know a lot of people over the years have said they were so shocked when Season 5 rolled around and Margaret leaves Frank for Lieutenant Colonel Donald Penobscot. Now, they said, I didn't see that coming. That just kind of out of the blue. Now, if you go back and watch MASH, like a lot of you have and I have, you start to see a rift between Margaret and Frank around season three that Margaret is still slowly but surely pulling away from Frank. She's losing more and more respect for Frank. And the episode that really sets it apart is the one, the aid station. Now, that's the one where the doctor and nurse have been killed up at the front and Trapper, Hawkeye, and Frank have to draw sausages and see who's going to go up there. Margaret has already volunteered. So I think right there she loses a little bit of respect for Frank, realizing if he really loved her, really loved her, wouldn't he just volunteer to go up there with her? And it also, I think, sets up a mutual respect for Hawkeye and Margaret after that. They they seem to their 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 attitude towards each other seemed to change a little bit. That they weren't as at, you know, going at each other all the time. That there was mutual respect there, and I think that changed. Now, season four rolls around, and now Margaret, at the beginning, is back with Frank, because Frank is in charge. Frank's in charge. Can't, she loves power, as we've seen. So you see her with all the, the older generals, and she just is drawn to that. Now, that could be more that she needed the approval from her dad, that we later find out that she has his dad has trouble showing his love towards Margaret. But as season four rolls goes on, Frank is replaced by... Colonel Potter, he doesn't accept Colonel Potter. He's still, I think, bitter towards being replaced, whereas Margaret has respect for Colonel Potter, where she didn't respect Henry Blake. I think she liked Henry Blake, but she didn't respect him. But Frank doesn't, so again, that's being pulled. She finally has someone that, you know, in command that she does respect. There are several episodes in season four where you can see Margaret going, why am I with this guy? I, I don't respect him anymore. Why am I with Frank? Uh, the one that happened one night, he gives, you know, it's really cold. He, she gives Frank a love note and he rips it up. And she goes, why are you tearing up my notes? He goes, I tear up all your notes. What happens if we get killed? You know, And she goes, I saved all of your notes. And he goes into Margaret's tent, and destroys the tent looking for the note, love notes. And then I think Soldier of the Month, where Frank uh, <laughs> leaves Louise, where he gets the fever and he leaves Margaret all his clothes. And Margaret punches him after he feels better. And then the final one that I have here is, and then that, again, there's more. There's more that can go on, was mail call. And that's where Frank's wife, Louise, wants a divorce. And Frank gets on the line, talks to her, smooths things over. You can tell it's all about money with Frank. And Frank, you know, calls, you know, Major War, who, a war horse, army mule. He goes, I'll never leave. I just, am I still in the will? And all that, the, the weasel way. And I think Margaret, from that point on, and there's more episodes in season four you can point to, where Margaret is just, okay, this guy, you know, I can be friends with everybody. Frank just has no friends. And so I think she realizes, and she meets Lieutenant Donald, Lieutenant Colonel Donald Penobscot, and, you know, the rest is history. It didn't work out. But at least I think she was smart enough to pull away from Frank that she deserved better than what Frank was giving her. And so it doesn't come out of the blue. Again, go back and watch season three and four, and you'll see that it just doesn't come out of nowhere. That the writers were smart enough to know, okay, eventually we're going to have to break these two up. And we're going to have to change the direction of the show. And Margaret, we're going to make her stronger. Well, she was always a strong person. But I think, again, going back to her dad, she had daddy issues. And Frank was never going to change. And they made Frank even more paranoid than he was before. So, again, Margaret, regular army, she's a brave person. And Frank just wasn't. And so there you go. It wasn't out of the blue when she ended up getting engaged to Lieutenant Colonel Donald Penobscot. That's all I got. Thanks for watching. Tell a friend. Share this video. Leave a comment in the comment section. You can expand on what I've said or just say, I disagree with you. I don't care. Let's have some fun with it. That's all I got. I'm out. Bye.